So then, okay, log 0 0.0625 in base 8. Let us say it is equal to P. Now, remember the log reading law that says that if we have log, uh, let's say log M in this N, and we say it is X, what it means is that N raised to the power X is equal to N. Now, if we apply this, it means that um, 8 raised to the power P is equal to 0 0.0625. Can we express 0 0.0625 as a fraction? Let's do it here. 0 0.0625 over, you do it the elementary way, we are taught then, you say in place of decimal point, we have one and this one's zero. That means we have 625 over 10,000. So if we break this into, if we reduce it to a simplest term, um, 25 divide 625, 25 divide uh 625 divided by 25 should give us 25 um 100 divided by 25 is 4 you bring down zero zero so we have 25 over 400 uh if i divide 25 by itself 1 25 uh 400 divided by 25 we give us um um 100 divided by 25 is 4 so 400 is that's 4 times 4 16 okay what it means is that this is the same thing as 1 over 16. So can we say that 8 raised to the power p is equal to 1 over 16? That's what this is, right? Now, 8 raised to the power p is equal to 16 raised to the power minus 1. 16 raised to the power minus 1. Can we express 8 as 16 to a common base? Sure, we can. 8 raised to the power p uh, 8 is the same thing as 2 raised to power 3. So we have 2 raised to power 3 or raised to power p is equal to 16 is 2 raised to power 4. So we have 2 raised to power 4 or raised to power minus 1. So this is 2 raised to power 3p is equal to 2 raised to power minus 4. Distributive law of indices applied here. So it means equal base equal to equal power 3p is equal to minus 4. Divide both sides by coefficient of p, which is uh, 3. 3p three over 3 is equal to minus 4 over 3. Right? 3 cancel 3. Can we say that p is equal to minus 4 over 3? An improper fraction, if you want to put it as a missed fraction, it is minus 1 whole number 1 over 3. And that is the log of 0 0.0625.